Hi, I'm Nelson Fisk, and we are at AUSA 2019, and we're at the uh, Boeing stand with Randy Rohde. He's going to go through some of the uh, Chinook program updates for us. Thanks, Sure, Rohde. no problem, Nelson. Randy. I appreciate it. So, always great to talk about Chinook. It's a very well-performing, uh, highly demanded program. So, just give me give you a chance to give an update on the Chinook Block 2 program. So, uh, Block 2 really is it's kind of a three-legged stool. The first part is the engineering and manufacturing development portion, which is we're on contract with the Army. It's a four-year program, started in 2017. It was building, uh, designing, developing, and building three aircraft, and then we'll do all the test flights. So those three aircraft are all built. Two of them are already out in Mesa, Arizona, already instrumented, begun flight test. Uh, the third aircraft has just been completed. It's getting ready to go down to Patuxent River, where we're going to do some uh, E-cube testing. We'll do a lot of electromagnetic engineering uh, testing on that aircraft. Uh, and that is what we'll be doing for like about the next year or so, is completing all that test. Uh, and the purpose of that is to inform then a milestone decision that's coming up in 2021 for the Army on whether or how to move forward that program. Uh, the second leg of that stool is the MH-47G Block II, so we're already on contract for 15 of those aircraft over two lots. The first of those actually just entered the final assembly line, so that has already been designed, developed, and now we're building, uh, and that aircraft will come off the assembly line next summer. Uh, and then the third leg of the stool is the F Block II, uh, and that is the piece that uh, last year when the Army sent the President's budget over for 2020, the funding for production of that uh, had been removed uh, for other priorities. Since then, uh, the Congressional Appropriations Committees have all added advanced procurement money in to maintain schedule. However, remember I said that the Milestone C decision is in 2021. That is when the funding is actually needed to buy those aircraft. So we'll see what happens in February of 2020 when the Army's 2021 budget goes over to the Hill. Uh, but that is what all this testing and development has been in support of. Uh, so that's the story yet to be written. And we look forward to being part of writing that story. Great. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate it.